what happens if you get struck by lightning? Well, I have been struck by lightning. Personally, my twin brother and I both got struck when we were at church camp, like 13 years old. And uh, that was sporty. That's why my call sign is Sparky. So airplanes get struck by lightning pretty much every day. And we ha- it's designed to where uh, it's, it can go around the outside. They design it the best that they can because you have electrical components in the inside. Uh, so it can really screw it up if it hits directly and it goes through these electrical components. So we have what are called static wicks on the edge of the wings. You'll see these little bitty things that stick out at the ends. Those are designed kind of like um, what are lightning, they, uh, rod? lightning rod, mm-hmm. kind of, to where it hopefully will hit that first and vector that on the outside through the metal and then exit the back of it. And so most of the time that happens. So you're not grounded when it hits you or you are? No, you're not grounded. You're in the air, of course, but you're in a a field of, of, you know, not magnetic, a field of electrical uh, energy around you. And so as it uses you as a conduit, if it goes on the outside, no problem. The airplane just shrugs it off and keeps going, which I've had happen many times. We get on the ground, we're like, hey, yep, we got hit by lightning. We'll note it and maintenance will come out and take a look. Like, yep, static wick two and four are gone. The one in the back's gone. They'll do a maintenance check, see if it, you know, jumped across anything else. The problem comes if it goes into the systems because you have no idea where it's going to enter or exit. And most of the systems systems are redundant and resilient. Mm-hmm. So if it, even if it does get hit, you got a backup system going. Love it, love it.